news tonight at 5.30. Police are looking for paintings that were stolen from a veteran's home in South Boston. Now they do have surveillance video of the suspect, but as WBZ's Lisa Gresci reports, they're still trying to figure out why she did it. How would they do that? Why would somebody want to do that? Like everyone else in the South Boston building, Mark McCunis is a veteran. When the hallway walls there were suddenly blank, the property manager checked surveillance video. You see a woman come in uh, to the angle where the pictures are on the first floor. She grabs the photos, walks right up the stairs, and 40 seconds later walks right back down third photo and walks right out the door. McCunis joined the Air Force at 19 and wanted nothing more than to call South Boston home again, appreciating every finishing detail of that dream. Because these artists donated the time to make these for us and then donated to us, you know, so we can have something beautiful on the walls and look at. And this person came in here and, you know, took away the safety of the building and took away you know, our beautiful lot that was donated to us. Some of these vets believe the woman knew exactly what she was looking for when she walked in one of these doors. So quickly, too, and without any, uh, without any fear, she looked like she was just in and out and knew what she was doing. The building is home to several families. While some of them can't help but feel violated, they are thankful the woman didn't make her way into anyone's unit. And the fact that someone has enough audacity, I guess is the, bad, the big word to use, to break into somebody's home and steal somebody's property, it's just, it's breathtaking, it's scary. The hope is catching it on surveillance video will stop the woman from doing it again. Hopefully we can get them back, and if not, at least this person can be arrested and shown that we're not going to let somebody just break into our, our neighborhood at our house. Reporting in South Boston, Lisa Gresci, WBZ News.